circumstance does not make the man, it reveals him to himself. The soul attracts that which it secretly harbors, that which it loves, and also that which it fears, it reaches the height of its cherished aspirations, it falls to the level of its unchastened desires, and circumstances are the means by which the soul receives its own. Every thought seed sown or allowed to fall into the mind, and to take root there, produces its own, blossoming sooner or later into act, and bearing its own fruitage of opportunity and circumstance. Good thoughts bear good fruit, bad thoughts bad fruit. The outer world of circumstance shapes itself to the inner world of thought, and both pleasant and unpleasant external conditions are factors, which make for the ultimate good of the individual. As the reaper of his own harvest, man learns both by suffering and bliss. A man does not come to the almshouse or the jail by the tyranny of fate or circumstance, but by the pathway of groveling thoughts and base desires.